Um, I'm going to record this session so that those that couldn't make it can hopefully have their questions answered. My name is Monica Blodgett. Um, if you've been in any of the previous info sessions, you may have seen me. Um, and today's info session is to really address any questions you may have around the Deep Tech T Training Prize. First, I'm gonna go over the prize real quick, um, just to have a grounding. And then I will, of course, answer any questions you have. Please put them in the question and answer box if you can, that would be appreciated. Um, and I'll go ahead and get started with the brief overview on the call um, and really going over the application materials. So one moment. Get back to the beginning of the presentation. All right, so the Deep Tech Talent Initiative, I believe you're all familiar with, but our main objective is to skill, reskill, and upskill 1 million talents by 2025 um, in deep technologies. And the reason we are doing this, the hope and the ambition, is that these individuals who have been trained in deep technologies will be able to pursue solutions to deep societal challenges. Um, so that is the ambition to really close the skills gap in Europe by training these individuals in deep technologies, which will work to find solutions to today's problems. So today we're here to talk about the Deep Tech Talent Training Prize which is also challenge-based. Um, the objective is to address a challenge in deep tech talent trainings. Um, and today we're gonna go over more of the application because these steps should have been taken before now to sign the pledge and become a pledger if you are not already and to upload the course and complete the quality check. Um, so the deadline to complete the quality check has passed. Now it is time to apply for the training prize. So a high level summary um, is that the prize addresses a challenge um, in deep tech trainings. The parameters are that it needs to have occurred between January 1, the training, um, between January 1, 2023 and October 31st or the submission of the prize application. There are two categories of partner training and targeted training. Um, and the opportunity is to win up to 60,000 euros uh, in award money. The key dates, again, as a reminder, the prize will close on October 31st, so you need to have your application in by then. And some new information is that we will be having the prize ceremony as part of our Deep Tech Talent Initiative ceremony on November 23rd in Barcelona, Spain. Um, this event is open and we are inviting all applicants to attend. So, First things first is the deep tech emphasis in the area group with the prize. So you will need to identify which the category your training belongs to because we have four different categories or four different deep tech area groups that are individually assessed. So if your training relates to biology and life sciences, you will apply to and indicate on your application that you're applying to Deep Tech Area Group 3 because your evaluation will be related and the experts are selected based on their expertise in that area group. So first thing is to make sure that you have your subject matter relating to one of these deep tech area groups and to select and indicate clearly on your application the one that you are applying to. 
you cannot in one application select more than one deep tech area group. Um, you need to submit it for one deep tech area group specifically. So you have identified your deep tech area group. Now it's time to think about the challenges. So you, what is the challenge? Um, and maybe you've already thought about this, hopefully. But examples of the challenge are that they can be organizational specific um, or anything up to pan-European. As I noted in the beginning, there is an urgency to close the skills gap in Europe around deep technologies and build these competencies. So that's a pretty macro level example, but then a more organizational level example, we need to increase the students in the training around uh, robotics, for example. Um, and then how, that's more of the scope of the challenge. And then examples is increasing the availability, the accessibility, maybe it's digitalized. Um, we need a number of trainees with a specific credential. We were approached by an enterprise to train their employees on a specific competency. And we as a training provider have done that through X training. Um, which brings us to the prize categories. So you have your deep tech area, you have your challenge, and now you're applying to either partner training or targeted training. Partner training, pretty straightforward as hopefully targeted training as well, but partner training is more than one entity. So you're applying as a sort of consortium. So you need minimum two partners. And again, you are most likely coming together to address a challenge or to work as you have a complementary fit in addressing this challenge. Next one is targeted training. That's for individual providers, so, or individual entities. Um, maybe you were working towards like a sector specific need, um, working specific to your organizational needs, Maybe you were targeting your training towards a specific group um, for maybe those re-entering the job market, instilling and building their competencies in order to have the credentials for re-entering a specific sector. So application material. I will say if you've become a pledger and you have submitted your quality check, that now the application material is designed to be quite light um, you have a challenge pitch deck, and all of this information is on the Deep Tech website. I'll link it in the chat in a moment, um, where you'll download a PowerPoint presentation, which will then subsequently be re-uploaded, um, but you will um, outline the challenge that you've addressed how you addressed it, who addressed it, what you were addressing, who were the stakeholders, um, the scope. I'll go into a little bit more detail in a moment. And then you have your pitch video, which is one to two minutes, summarizing, perhaps giving a little more color, adding items that might uh, not have been contained and really overall summarizing um, the challenge you've addressed and how you've had success in addressing that challenge. It's the emphasis is to sell yourself, right? You're pitching. We did this. We had this result. And this is the impact or the steps towards impact that this training has had. And then there's a very straightforward application form, which is also linked on the Deep Tech page, where you will be inputting basic organizational information, information around the partners, if you applied with partners. Um, the KPIs that you hit um, with the training. So with the application form, that's where you'll upload the two previous items, the deep tech challenge pitch deck and the one to two minute video. So make sure you have those ready before you go to the application form, just a suggestion. Um, so you go to the, you'll have your pitch deck, you'll have your video, and then you go to the application form, you fill in the lab, uh, information, which is very straightforward and light. 
and you upload the items and you submit. <laughs> so this is the first page in the pitch deck. Once you have it downloaded from our website, you can see the items that we ask you to include. And coincidentally, these items match the evaluation criteria of the prize. So defining the challenge. Challenge in regard to the deep tech area group, its relevance to the initiative. Instruments, methodology. Teams, who are you working with? What is their role? Quantitative measurements. Your KPIs, that one's mandatory. How many trainees did you train? Um, and other ones that you may have had in your work packages or in your structure of the training. Testimonial, this is more of a qualitative approach, right? I benefited from this. This will allow me to do X. Transferability of the training. How could this be transferred to other institutions? How could this be scaled up? And then impact of the training, either you know, we don't expect these trainings to say we've solved <laughs> X, Y, Z crisis, um, but it could be steps, you know, stepping stones towards reaching impact. So this is the first page of the PowerPoint. You'll have that downloaded from the website, complete it, add, we, only this first page is populated and we have the branding, of course, but please add, you know, your take. We're giving you, we do have specific items we want to see, but again, it's up to you to be convincing the evaluators of the success of your training and how it has addressed a challenge. So after you have that in your video, the video, we don't have a template. You just make a one to two minute video. It can be on your phone even. Um, you'll go to the application portal and you see this is the first page. You up you input your email address, you agree, and then you'll go through the details, the proposal, the verification, and complete it. It's very straightforward. Um, and then you'll be evaluated. So again, this is the criteria, which you'll see matches what we have in the PowerPoint presentation, right? Um, addressing the challenge. How did you address it? Uh, it is aligned with the deep tech ambitions. It has scalability, transferability. It has impact. So please reference this and really reference the call text, the prize guidelines and terms, I believe it's called on the website. That is your best resource. And then the prize. Um, there again are divided per deep tech area group. So when you submit your application, you'll be assessed on the area group. Um, and for the partner training, you'll see that it exceeds 60,000 euros, but the maximum amount per institution is 60,000 euros. Um, and then we have about 16 prizes total that could be won. So that um, is my presentation. I want to leave the floor to you now in case you have questions? I don't see any questions. I hope I have a hand raised. I don't know. Can you speak on this one? <laughs> um, if you want, can you put your question in the chat maybe? I'm not sure if you can, um, uh, when you'll get the results. So the results will be announced in November. Um, the applications close the 31st and then October 31st, and then we need to do an eligibility check. Um, again, please consult the guidelines for the eligibility. Um, and then we'll have the eligibility check and then we go through the standard evaluation process. Um, and then we will notify the winners and those that were not selected and you will have an evaluation report. So pretty standard Horizon Europe guidelines. Um, next question, the pitch deck. Better explain the point related to the team. How long does the testimony have to be? Sure, no problem. 
Um, so the team is really like, who are the solvers, right? Who are you working with? Was it just your faculty and department at your institution? Was it one professor using a higher education institution example? Um, were you working, you know, with other departments? Uh, who was working on this training um, to execute it to address the challenge? And then the testimonial doesn't have to be long. Um, there's no, it could even be a blurb, you know, it's just a qualitative assessment of testifying to the strength of the training and how it was addressing a challenge. Um, for the event in Barcelona, Spain on November 23rd, it's public. Um, and we will have a cap though of attendees. We would love to see all of the applicants come. Um, we will be around announcing the winners. So a pretty exciting moment. Um, so there's no cap on how many can come per institution. We don't have any requirements. Um, Next question, the ones who submitted the video and the pitch with the quality check, we can resubmit these items again with the application form. So you do not have to submit the quality check again. The quality check should be done. Um, and then for the application, when you go to the website, the Deep Tech Talent Initiative prize page website at the bottom you will see the rules of the contest so those are the guidelines really read that um, and then register and submit an application um, and that's where you'll upload the information like uh, the pitch deck the video and then you have a link to download the pitching powerpoint presentation um, I'll put this into the chat, one second. So go to this website and then you'll be able to have all of the information and the guidelines really clearly state the steps you need to take. Um, Yes, for the team, like who you're working with, you don't have to give the name. Um, there's like GDPR, don't worry. Uh, but you'll just like constitute like who are you working with? Like program officers, you were working with like the dean or you were working with, um, you know, XYZ technology transfer department, um, but you don't have to give like identifiable information. Anything else? Okay, I think I answered all of these. Um, and I'll put the link to the register and submit application. So you can take a look there about what you need to do. But again, I would have your pitch deck ready and then your uh, video, and then you'll be able to quickly go through the application. It's like very high level and upload the information. Um, you should know in advance, yes, who has won the prize. Um, and yeah, when you submit your confirmation of the award, by then we should have the link to register for the reception. Um, and we would love to have you all there. Um, the noters, the noters, the winners will be notified before the prize ceremony, but we wanna put it on everyone's radar now because the timing is tight. Um, so we invite everybody to attend and um, then yeah, we'll have, we'll share like the registration. If you follow our 
social media pages, which I hope you do. Um, I will put it, I think it should work if I put it, but it's EIT Deep Tech Talent. If you look on LinkedIn um, and on our website too, we have the newsletter that you subscribe for. Um, here is our LinkedIn. So if you follow our LinkedIn, then you'll be able to get all the updates on the prize ceremony. And when you submit your application, you will also receive more information with the confirmation email. Um, okay, I have a new question. If we apply under the partner training, who is the prize for, the pledger? Um, so that is up to the consortium, how they define the distribution. There's a lot amount of 100,000 euros. However, if you win first prize, this, this cannot be given to only one institution per the guidelines of Horizon Europe. So there needs to be at least two entities that are um, given the funds. Um, and the rules would stipulate that who is receiving the funds need to be pledgers in the consortium. So there should be at least one pledger uh, in the consortium. So your courses, um, the quality check process is ongoing, but it should be approved within the coming weeks. So with the quality check process, it can take some time. However, if you submitted your course by the deadline, then you, um, and it passes the quality check, then you'll be eligible for the prize. So you should receive a response within the coming weeks about the quality check, but please continue on with your application. Any other questions? All right. Well, I hope to see you all in Barcelona. I will be there. Um, and please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any other questions. Um, we're happy to answer any questions. We can't coach, of course, or anything on the application, but we're happy to answer questions. I would recommend that you focus on, you know, eligibility first. Did you submit all the items in order to be eligible? Um, and then also looking at the Horizon Europe guidelines. And to please read the call text guidelines, the prize guidelines on the website. Um, and this is the email if you have any questions. And yeah, I'll hang around for a couple of more minutes if anyone else has any questions that I can answer. And thank you all. Don't hesitate to reach out and we hope to see your applications. Have a good day.